questions for uh, for, for, right? for a straight set match, that's pretty close, wasn't it? Yes, it was very close. Especially the second set was uh, very tight, very close, and uh, I faced uh, many break points. I think in two games, two games in a row on my serve, which uh, was uh, was very tough. But I think that was really the, the key of, of today's game that uh, I managed to, to save that. And then uh, when I got a chance in, in the end of the second set, uh, I got a bit lucky. That's that's true. And uh, that break point when uh, Joe helped me. But uh, yeah, you have to be ready. And uh, also this part of the game, it's it's there. And I managed to win straight sets. What, what, what was the powder on your back about? Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> glad that uh, you are not the third one asking me if I get a sandburn, you know, and definitely not in my room, it's def not, not the sun, so, uh, no, I mean, I just uh, asked to get, uh, get a hot cream on my back and it was really a hot one, and yeah. it starts to be really burning and uh, really uncomfortable, so I was just asking to to get something which which can help me to basically put put it out or just try to clean it or something whatever and uh, you know finally it happened and uh, you know I could concentrate more on my game than on my back. Thomas, you, you've played a lot of tennis this season. How are you bearing up physically? Yeah, I'm feeling quite good. Uh, I mean, really, I don't uh, facing any any troubles, nothing, uh, nothing at all. Really feeling good, and yeah, that, that's the best thing. Uh, yeah, that's the best thing what I can what I can have right now. And uh, really, I'm trying to take care of my body in in between all the time. In you know, every when every single match is over, just trying to do the all possible I can and uh, to recover the best and uh, so far I'm doing it quite well and uh, it's a very important part of the game as well. You know 7-1 record against Coach Driver next. You must be feeling quite confident going into the semi-final. Oh yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, the record is one thing but then always the match is going to start from the zero and uh, you know, I, I, I've seen uh, Philip play here and he's playing really well. He's playing very aggressive, very confident too, and uh, it's it's always a, a tough opponent to play. So yeah, I will really need to refocus again, really be prepared, and uh, start uh, with my good game tomorrow again. Uh, Thomas, mine's just a basically a follow-up question. Philip was in earlier, and he said that what he's been doing the past eight attempts hasn't worked, so he's going to try something different. <laughs> do you, um, do, I mean, does that give you, you know, confidence or, you know, that someone's coming into a semi-final against you and feeling he has to do, change his game plan to beat you? Uh, well, I think for the beginning it's a good start uh, because I really kind of know that feeling a bit, you know. I, I mean, I have a similar record to like to Rafa or to Novak, so. Uh, you know, I was sometimes I was thinking about it. Uh, you know, I will not tell the answer if it's if it's good or bad. But uh, you know, let's see. I'm really really looking forward to that. And really, it doesn't change much for me. I need to be really focused just on myself. Uh, I know him as a player, and uh, the most important always for my game is uh, is the my own way how I'm, how I'm going to be hitting the ball and handling the situations and that's my main focus. Thomas, the other, the other day you were talking about, um, well, all your results in Grand Slams, you've made it to the semifinals in all of them. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself unlucky to have shared the same era with Federer, Djokovic and Nadal? No, I'm not. Um, I would say even I would see it. Uh, I would see it from the other way around. Uh, you know, to see and face those guys, I think it's uh, it's really an honor to be part of that. I had an opportunity to play to all of them, many matches to all of them. I beat them at least twice each. So you know, I think it's uh, it's it's part of the it's part of the game, and it's uh, something that I'm. Uh, I can say that uh, you know I've been part of this. I've been able to to manage to be so far fifth in the world, 
in in that such a tough competition and uh, you know with all those all those guys. So and still there, I'm I'm still playing and uh, I hope that one day it still could be you know, become a reality to to win a slam and uh, and then I think it, it's going to be worth even more. Last one. Thomas, uh, in the first three in Joe's first three service games, I think he almost got one point, and then in his fourth service game, you almost broke him, and the fifth service game, you didn't break him. Did you change anything? Or is there any explanation towards that? Or no, I mean it could be really uh, coincidence, or really just just the, the situation just turned up like that. It's. Uh, I really don't look at it uh, by those points. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to, to get prepared for each game and uh, start start well from from the first point of the game when the when the game is like lap 30 or lap 40. Well, it's really difficult with a player like Joe to to make a break. But of course, you're trying. But uh, but it's it's really good to put some pressure from the beginning of the game and. Uh, uh, you know, in, in, in this kind of matches, it's about really find the, the right rhythm. He's a big serving guy, so it's uh, it's something just about basically get that feel of of the serve. Try to read read uh, his service spots, and uh, then it's just turn up this way. Good for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry.